Hello my friends and welcome back to our continue buying let's play The Legend of Dragoon for PlayStation. My name is the Footless Bird, this is your Soviet Community Channel and today we're with Duck Kongola Meadow here in this frozen wasteland and uh, apparently I missed something. Not really sure what I missed. I think we need to go down the icicle cavern or we head right. I I'm not entirely sure so we'll just, I don't know, we'll just uh wander around a bit until we figure it out. So with that said, let's jump into it, shall we? Hope you all having a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day today. So when I go right, there's nothing else to go right here. There's no other right there. So that means that we're not supposed to go this way. So I think we got to go down inside the uh, ice. Oh, look at this. We got a woolly mammoth. Oh, look at him dance. Oh, that's so cool. Look at him swing his uh, trunk. Too bad I'm about to shut you down. So I have no idea what the horrible things are going to do to me. All right, good start to the episode. <laughs> Very, very good start. Wow, that did a lot of damage. He's got a lot of life. So today, uh, I'm posting an update video on our RPG vote that's coming up. And the uh, five games on the list. It's gonna be Bravely Default 2, Ionic Chronicles, uh, Omori, Radiant Historia, and wild arms so the update video will come out around 12 and then the poll will go live or actually the update video may come out around 2 and then the update video is going to come out uh at 4. i may make the update uh, video come out at 12 and then the poll will go live at 4. And the reason the poll is going to go live at 4 is because I'm going to announce the winner of the poll when I do my Final Fantasy Tactics stream. So the idea is the poll is going to be up for two days. Now, I can't take down a poll on YouTube, but I can basically say, okay, you know, the poll is over and the winner is. And I'll announce that live at 4 o'clock on our Final Fantasy Tactics stream. So uh, make sure you vote. Five really interesting games, and I can't wait to play all of them. Eventually. Eventually we will. Okay, so I, I get the feeling I missed something somewhere down here. Not really sure what, but we obviously missed something. It's a lot of enemies. Kind of like a better when it was just the one giant mammoth. <laughs> Only have one enemy to worry about. Oh my gosh, flightless. And unfortunately, he had to hit dart. That's a lot of damage. That is a whole lot of damage. All because I missed one addition. I hope this doesn't kill him. I think I want to hurt him, not kill him. Good. Um. I should have used the magic stone tonight. Nope. Okay, good. Meryl with her speed comes through. Speed up dark. That way you can heal faster. I 
and even Congo gets a heal. Really would like Congo to go next. Uh, I don't want this guy to nuke me, but I didn't want Congo to get one more defense. Good. That speed down helped a lot. There we go. Okay, let's go down here. What did I miss? Ah! I did miss something. Uh... Shoot. No, that's right. That, that was right. Because there's a chest down there. Dancing Ray, that's an attack item. Now what I need to do is I need to go... I'll put him on this way. Can't believe I missed icicles. Uh, down... Nope, nope. Down this way. Phoenix Plume, what the heck is that? Is that an unlimited heal? I mean, resurrection? That is not an item. That is a weapon of armor. It must be a helmet. It is. Avoids bewitching, confusion, fear, and dispiriting. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. We can use it though. Oh, it's down here. Okay, so I lose defense, but I gain magic attack and magic defense. Uh, is this good for him? I mean, the magic attack is a huge bonus, but I almost feel like that would benefit more on Dart. But then again, he can afford to lose the defense. Dart can't. So sure, let's let's give him the uh, the Phoenix Bloom. Slip and sliding all over the save point here. A question is, is there anything to the left of us? Because there looks like there could possibly be something over there. No, there is not. Huh? What was that? Item over there. You know, normally I don't do this, but I think I'm going to. Uh... Earth or Thunder? Let's do Thunder. The only problem is this may make all of them go into uh into the status where they just start nuking me. I did a lot of damage. Alright. 
I know I didn't get any additions from that, but you know. I, it was either use them or lose them. So I might as well have used them, right? Fatal Blizzard, yeah. Okay, let's head up. And over to the left, because I know there's a chest over there. Hey, Kungu gets screen time! What? Kungu feels monster angry about we entered here. Boy, I cannot imagine what they are thinking to live in such a cold place. Monster. Don't know coldness. Monster only knows to kill. It wants to kill us. Huh, thank you, but no thank you. Here it comes. All right, what are we up against? Ooh, oh my God, that thing is, I think it's scary looking. Wendigo. Wendigo. All right. Uh. Uh. Speed down. Congo say, how? Uh, dart to. Uh, darts fire. So powering up the dart, uh, the fire guy here is probably what you should do. And then we're gonna blast this thing into the next dimension. Mm -mm -mm. And let's blaze on, shall we? Uh, I'm not going to do Red Eye Burst because that takes a lot of MP. And so I'm just going to do Final Burst. Although I could always do uh, the Dragon and then uh, just regular attacks. This is fine. And that did absolutely nothing. I really want her to get our dragon form as fast as possible. Uh, because I, I wanna see what his um what his attack does here. It's an all enemy though, so I don't think it's gonna do as much as a regular attack, but still. Meteor strike! That's cool. Yeah, it doesn't really do as much as uh, probably his regular attack. But it was still dang cool, right? Sometimes it's just doing something because it's cool is cool. Just 
so much damage. That is absolutely insane. Like, that is just insane. And then this guy responds with this, like, devastating attack. That does absolutely nothing. Yes! I did it! I don't know how I do that. It's just really cool to do it. Ah, oh, 465 is really nice. Now I want her to start building up SP so she can heal if needed. Yeah, that does a lot more damage. A lot more. So I guess giving him that item that increases the magic attack is not really a big deal. But then again, it also increases all his other stats, so. I saw most of my guys transform too. That boss got wrecked. Brass knuckle, probably a uh, Asha weapon. Ooh, look at this. Oh, uh, it's a beautiful sight. Moon strike and cool boogie. And they probably may have new stuff as well. Where'd he go? Defeat the Wendigo. We barely defeated. No, we didn't barely defeat anything. We crushed that fool. Thanks to you, uh, that uh, you got to him to. Uh. Hurry up, we are moving on. The Tower of Flamel is back here. We absolutely wrecked that fool. Oh my gosh. Brass cycle, yep, it's uh, only a plus six. But instantly kills, possibly. Dart now has Moonstrike, which looks like a crazy amount of additions. I may have to equip the War God on that one. Uh, let's see. Cool Boogie. Uh, four additions on this one. And of course, Inferno, I'm still trying to power up. I'm not going to equip the, uh, the item on him yet. Because I want to see what it looks like first. Fight Black Rain. That's weird. I fought the boss this direction, but I don't see um an exit. Oh, the exit's up there. Do I see any other items here? I don't see any other items here. Look, this is the Tower of Flamville. It's the moon where the moon mirror was placed. It's a swirl. Again, this doesn't seem to be built by humans. No, it's not. According to the legend, it was the wingless floated fort during the dragon campaign. I heard. Yeah, you were there. Hey, this can uh, fly? Wingless of the past used to have an enormous amount of magical power. Then it wouldn't be strange if this much magic power is concealed in divine moon objects. For the people of Serdio, for King Zior, and for Princess of Mill. No, this is a life or death matter for all of Endeness. That's even more reason. We must stop their mission to Lord here. I wonder if that's gonna be my airship. Aha, there is an item over here. Well, not an item, but something. Okay, it's just a dramatic pan. You know what? I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. 
I don't mind dramatic pants. Just like I like how bosses die due to a cinematic slash. It's always fun to watch. All right, new addition time. Let's see how we do. Let's get myself a better angle here. I was not ready for that. It's been a while since I had a counter. I was not ready at all. Let's try again. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is going to be a problem. I'm gonna go ahead and shut down the spider. And by shutting down, I mean completely shutting down. All right, take three. That's unfair. That is totally unfair. Like the 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 pause between the red and the counter, and then the next attack is almost impossible to hit. It is really, really almost impossible to hit. Cause I was waiting for it, and the red like blast didn't happen until it was like way too late. Moon stick. But that is way too difficult on Mero. Like legit, way too difficult. Because of that because of that pause. So I'm going to go ahead and do something that I don't want to do. Which is I'm gonna go to Mero. And I'm gonna give her Uh the Ultimate War God. Which affects her HP. But she has gotten a little bit more HP since then. So hopefully that helps. I mean, having that helmet is very, very good. And as I said before, use it or lose it. Um... Rave Twister. I know it's not an equipment because we had discard an item. But that sounds like an equipment. Spirit ring. That is not an item. That is definitely an equipment. Recover SP each turn. Okay. Not something I really care about. I wonder if I'm going to get some fireflies sometime. Okay, we got turtles. Turtles are very, very powerful. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut down the turtle. And by shutting down the turtle, I mean shutting down the turtle. One, two combo. Gonna marrow. That's a lot of SP for level one. Oh, two attacks back to back. How about that? Cool boogie. Yes. 
I really hate the counters in this game. Like seriously, if I could get rid of one thing in this game, it would be the counters. Because they, because they, they, they totally disrupt the rhythm, and that's not fair. Like if you press circle and nothing happened except you attack, you didn't get that like cinematic. It would be fine, but because of that cinematic pause, it it, it makes some additions near impossible when you get a counter. And I, that's not how it, they should be done. Like, that defeats the whole purpose of the addition. Just letting Mary play with her pet turtle. Continuing on. Uh, left. I don't think I can go right, can I? Ooh, what the heck is this? Okay, this is confusing. Yeah, that's really confusing. Mage ring. Does that just increase magic back? Nope, it recovers MP each turn. Which is really good if you only had 10, but how much MP does it recover? Let's test it out, shall we? I have a feeling this is where I'm supposed to go. So I want to kind of go back to the beginning. To make sure I can't get on that other path right there. The answer is no, I cannot. No, I cannot. Sometimes you just have to check things out, you know? I love how this guy dances with music. It's great. It's so great. Wow, 10 MP per turn. That's not bad. I thought it would be like 1 MP or something. I'd just be here like, wow, that's dumb. But no, that's not bad. Wow, 584. Congo's great. I like Congo. Like, I could legit take this part to endgame and be okay with it. Because Congo is fun. Mero is fast, so she can heal. And, uh, Dart, you can't do anything about, so. I, I really like this party. Uh, let's. Yeah, go ahead. Jeez, why can't I do that? Kill it? Congo's just like a giant wrecking ball. And we kind of had the two extreme characters. I had the really fast character, Meru, but she's not as strong. And the really big character in Congo, who's really slow. But then again, Meru has other things to her. You know, the fact that she can... She has probably one of the best heals in the game is just crazy. Okay, so I can't get up to that top one up there, no matter what I do. I was trying to get to that top one to see what would happen. Is this a plant? Uh, I don't know what it is, but it's completely covered. 
Mary's just flying around. She's so funny. It must be at least 11,000 years since it was dropped on the Earth. But I think this is a better one, because usually the ruins of Wingleys are destroyed. Also, the magical teleporting device was working too. It is a place the royal family of Millie's to sue, a place of Moon Mirror. I guess some functions are still working. to go here. Two ways to go here. No way to go there. Trying to make sure I explore every path. The moon mirror is in there. The root, the dragon spirit, and the divine dragon is resonating. Lloyd, finally we cornered him. Now the question is, do I want to restore my magic with dart manually or just use an item? Because it's going to take a while if I restore it manually. I think what I do is I just go with my attack badge. Uh, Meru. Do I want to give my earn ultimate war god or... I can really make her a strong magic user. But the thing is, that's kind of something that happens very rarely. Especially since I usually do with Dart. I'll just keep the ultimate war god on her. And I think what I will do is... Uh, recover your MP manually. Unfortunately, we didn't run into any of those really nice... Hey, where are you going? We have to rescue Quinn Thrust as soon as possible. Uh, we didn't run into those really nice uh, firefly things. Because those would have really helped. Let's do a different slave just in case. Let's go. Oh, what's with the armor? It looks amazing. I appreciate your cooperation. That, what are you? Lloyd, here they are. The three artifacts. I just got all three Divine Moon objects. Now the world will be born into the utopia that Emperor Diaz and I desire. The world will be reborn? What are you talking about? You should know, Your Majesty. Evolutionary plan created by the Great Will, Soa. And by the flow of evolution woven by the Divine Tree. You humans are merely the 106th in the plan. And we Winglies are the 107th in the plan. I desire the 108th evolution. I desire Utopia created by the last species. For that, I will use every conceivable means. Lloyd, that's all you want to say? I'll let my sword say the rest. Shall we finish up? Let's go. Big fight feel, my friends! Big fight feel! Do I have all my SP powered up? No, I do not. Uh, so I may want to place a little bit close to my chest. I didn't mean to do that. Did not mean to do that. Uh, sure, go hit him. That's really good damage, even without dragon form. I don't like 
the looks of this. Oh, this is taking way too long to cast. This is gonna hurt, isn't it? Please don't hurt too much. Ow! Ah! 1300! Dude! That's not cool! Can't do that addition yet. Uh, Meryl, I need you to transform now. That hurt way too much. That hurt way, 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 way too much. Continue. Do I wanna? I I'm not gonna really be able to special here, so. I mean, every chance I get, I should probably transform. Dang, I only got three that time. Still more damage than what the, the addition would do. Does this guy have an attack that doesn't look super cool? Like, don't you have any normal attacks? Oh, you gotta be kidding me! You just one shot her? Oh, you gotta be kidding me, game! That is incredibly cheap! Not even a little bit cheap. That is incredibly cheap. Like, like, super duper cheap. I hate instant death. I really, really hate instant death. Especially if you consider that you don't you can't just stock 15 resurrections in this game. You only have a very small amount of items you can carry. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Not this bull crud again! Crud. This is complete and total bull crud. Like, I only have one more of those. I literally only have one more of those. Does he do that when there's a dragoon on the field? Because if so, then this game just sucks. Okay, the game doesn't suck. But the point is... The game should not have a mechanic where you're constantly told you can't transform. Because this will be like the third boss and the last four bosses that basically made it where you can't transform, if that's true. And the whole mechanic of this game is to transform. Like, why do you do that? That's like saying the game is built around using debuffs and make every boss immune to a debuff. What's the point? I want to pick him up, but I can't really pick him up because if I pick him up, then there's a chance he could die instantly. Well. 
should have used power up on dart. Oh, that's not too late to do it. You've got to be... Yep, that, that's got to be it. He does it whenever you transform. This game has yet another mechanic where you can't transform. So dumb. Why don't you let me fight as a dragoon? That's what the whole game is based on. God, it's so annoying. Yes, this is me raging because it's, it's just, that's not a good mechanic. You should not have something like this. I don't even know how to, uh... I I'm gonna have to reset. I, I will be back in a few because I have no more resurrections. Nothing else I can do at this point. I, I, I can't transform against him and that completely sucks because that... Like I said, why why have a mechanic like that game? Why? I'll, I'll, I'll be right back in a moment. Okay, we're back. And you know what? I just realized something, and I feel pretty stupid about this. It doesn't change the fact of anything I said. It's still a dumb mechanic, but I just realized something. He's got the Dragon Buster equipped. That's why he's one-shotting me. I mean, logically, it makes a whole lot of sense. He has a weapon that can kill dragons or dragoons, right? It, it still irritates me. But at least I understand why. Now, with that said... I'm still in trouble because I need Kongo not to die due to his really big attacks. So, what I did is I equipped Meru with the Talisman. And Meru with the Talisman, what she can do is she can go into Dragoon form, heal the entire party, and she won't instantly die. Or at least I hope she doesn't instantly die. The Talisman is supposed to protect against instant death, right? And if I do that, then she'll be able to heal the entire party without worry about being killed instantly. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. The only thing is though, I can't drag in with anyone else because they'll just die. Okay, so Mero has the talisman, but I don't want to Missed. Are you mocking me now? I, I think he's mocking me now. What a jerk. Uh, I think I'm gonna probably open up with a speed down. I mean, <laughs> it can't hurt. It can only help. Oh god, here comes the super attack. Like I said, do you have any attack that's not super cool? Although now what I can do is I can heal with Meru. Okay, now what I can do is I can drag in here. And I can heal. And I don't have to worry about being insta-killed. And that will... I do have a ton of healing boosts as well. So what I can always do is... I can fire off healing breezes once she runs out of HP. I mean, MP. So, Mary is going to keep my party running. It's not the time to miss. Now is not the time to miss. Over 
over here. Oh my god. Did a perfect which is great. And also because she's super fast, I don't have to worry about her dying from the instant kill anyway. So that's good because I don't know if the talisman will actually protect me or not. So having her bounce back is not the worst idea. And plus, now I can get to the level one. Okay, that was more of a normal attack. Can, can we do more of that, please? Now the cool thing is, if I use Meru, I don't have to worry about her uh, being insta-killed because I can get a level one, then heal, then get a level one, then heal, and so on. God, why do I do that one so fast? It's really tricky. Two of those will max out her SP. Watch. Over here. Will you please stop dodging? Yes. Gush. Tush. Hush. Gush. Gush. Hush. Moon's right. There we go. That's pretty good damage. He doesn't seem to counter, at least. He'll dodge, but he doesn't seem to counter. Once again, a more normal attack. I will take that every single day of the week. Come on, flightless. Okay, this is still a normal attack. That's fine. Okay, that that's not fine, but it's it's still not bad. Uh, I could healing fog here. Saves Mero from a transformation. Come on, flightless. Now is not the time to be doing this. Thankfully, it doesn't spam that super move all the time. Not not that not that move. That move I'm okay with. I'm a, I'm talking about his other super move. You know, one that did like 1,200 damage to Congo. Because that's the one that really really hurts. Uh, do I heal here? Uh, I think I wait for him to attack again. On. Yes. Gush. Tush. Hush. Lightless. You're better than this. Missed. Show off. <laughs> Fortunately, he keeps attacking Dart. I say unfortunately because I don't want him to attack Dart. Uh, Kongo needs a power up. Dart needs to defend. <laughs> ah, he really hates Dart. Goodness gracious, he really hates Dart. And that pierces defense, too. Uh, I don't need to do a super heal yet. This is so bad. This is so bad to watch. Alright. 
We'll punch it through. So here I could throw a healing breeze instead of relying on luck of the talisman. You know, I'm gonna do that. Because if the talisman doesn't work, I don't wanna lose Meru. Especially since we're, he's on the brink. He's on red status. So we don't need to make any unforced errors here. I mean, overall, he's not a hard boss if I just don't do stupid things. If I just be consistent, I'll win. Especially if Congo's doing like 600 damage per hit. Because he's not doing that AoE blast anymore. Over here. Ugh, but he is dodging. Okay, I don't, I don't want to tempt the fates here. I don't need to transform. I don't have speed. I don't have the speed advantage that I did before. Uh, I think I just don't risk it, just use a healing breeze. If, if it's an emergency, I'll transform, but otherwise, let's just stay grounded. That's okay, that's okay. I'm okay with that. Don't miss, please. Thank you. Come on, that's gotta be it. Cinematic Slash, yes! Oh, he missed! I missed! That's not fair, we're not supposed to miss! Oh, we got through it. Epic music, go! Give Lloyd. What just happened? We just killed the queen. That wasn't supposed to happen. Albert. Albert, you need to be upstairs. Lloyd killed Lavitz. I trust Dart with everything. He will bring us the right answer. I agree. But I feel the same way. Ditto. Why? Why did you shield me? 
I took many people's lives away from my own ideal and the divine moon objects. I used you. Even if it is the truth, the fact that you saved me is still true. Besides, your death won't solve anything. Shana was taken away. What did you say? By the man named Emperor Diaz. He's dead! And... I just realized that was Wink. That was it, Queen Theresa. My bad. He told us to bring the three divine moon objects and Lloyd and come to Veil Web. That makes a lot more sense why she sacrificed. She, she likes him a lot. Absolutely. Hmm, Emperor Diaz finally has begun to take action by himself. Now, take them to him. Even without me, my utopia will be built by Emperor Diaz. I completed all my task. Now, I had to settle for what I have done so far. Kill me, and go to Vale Web. I dedicate my death to your departure. Whoa! Is it that a pity? Your death won't bring anybody who died back. Lloyd, I'm gonna make you see it through to the end. Passion. Is this the power that drives them? How is she so alive? Like, we cut her almost in half. Albert, uh, Shana was, I see. When we go there, we can reveal the truth about the Emperor Diaz. The Emperor Diaz, that's right, it's the Emperor Diaz, just like it was the Shinra. Whoever he is, he is dangerous. Besides, he is unforgivable to take our dear Shana as a hostage for his utopia, whatever. Exactly, I'll beat him up wherever he is. Queen Teresa, we are heading to Veilweb. And we need the moon. I understand. I will let you have the moon mirror. Maybe we're in denial surrounding ourselves with a couple of life that really was stagnant. Yes, we humans are not the only species. And all species were given life by Soa's plan. There, now is the time to remember. The assault of the divine dragon. The existence of winglies. The divine moon. Objects. The utopia that Lloyd and Emperor Diaz desires. And you, dragoons. Everything is forcing us to remember it as the things were manipulated by some great will called fate. Even if so, I don't care. I will take Shana back, even from fate. Miranda, you are one of the dragoons. Go with Dart. Discover the meaning of the fate given by Soa. Can I ask you one question? Or can I ask you one question? Yes. Why did you save Wink twice? I had no reason for doing that. I see. Cry the moon mirror. Cry the moon dagger. And cry the moon gem. Alright, my dear friends. Well, my name is the Footless Bird, and this is your story based game channel. I didn't just get him in my party, did I? No. Wishful thinking. 
Uh, all right. Well, yeah. Uh, this is our Blindless Play Light Dragoon. Thank you for everything. I love you all so dearly. And um, y'all are the number one YouTube community on YouTube. Don't forget to vote later today in today's poll. It will last for two days. And I, 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 I still believe what I said is true, though. And that is, don't have a mechanic, which makes it so that you can't use the primary mechanic. I, 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 I know for story reasons why that's a thing. And I know he's got the moon sword, so that's a thing. But hopefully, this is the last of these bosses that take away your ability to transform. Because that's, I mean, that's like playing a paladin in D&D. And being told, oh, uh, you can't use any of your abilities because your god's upset at you. Well, what did I do? It doesn't matter. Your god's upset at you. You can't use your paladin abilities. You're just like, but without my paladin abilities, I'm just a nerfed warrior. Doesn't matter. I, I, I you shouldn't use your paladin abilities anymore. It's, it's, it's like... Don't do that, please. I mean, it, becoming a dragoon is something that I don't do often. It's I only do it on bosses, and I like I like I like it a lot. I like it when I can transform into a dragoon. I think it's cool. I think it's powerful, and I think it's neat. And it still has limitations. Not being able to use items, for example, is a big limitation when you're in dragoon form. And you saw how cool the dragoon was in the first boss battle in the video. You know, we were hitting for like. What, 2700, uh, 2,700 damage? I mean, that was amazing. So, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully that's gone now. And we can proceed forward with, uh, new hopes. Uh, unfortunately, this thing did not take off like I hoped it did. Which means we did not get to fly in a really cool wingly, uh, structure. But, maybe we'll find that eventually soon. Uh, you guys take care of yourselves. And until next time, so long. And take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.